Hi y'all, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so this video comes from uh, an experience that I just had, okay? And y'all know I'm a card reader, right? I read cards. I read tarot cards. I read oracle cards and such. I'm a card reader. I have a website and it has all the different card readings that I do. Okay, so I've had these cards since I was 13 years old. I'm very connected to them, okay? I, uh, I get messages from spirit through the cards, okay? I work with cards because I'm very opinionated as a person and the cards guide me to, you know, you know, the cards, wherever the cards lay, whatever is on the card is what I say. I don't pull nothing out the sky. I don't try to guess. I don't try to tap in or anything. I'm just reading the cards, okay? I channel through cards. I communicate through cards. So the, this lady asked me uh, if I could do a blind reading, which is like using no cards, just pulling stuff out of the sky, what I feel, what I see, right? And I don't do blind readings, y'all. Uh, for one reason, I'm too opinionated. Like, my eyes will deceive me. <laughs> and that is, it's not a flaw, but that is a character trait that I do have. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. Like, I judge people a lot. Not not judging them in a bad way, but by what I see. And usually, you know, it could be right or it could be wrong because it's my perception. With the cards, it's not my perception. It's just what it is. The, you know the law of chance so I did this lady's blind reading y'all and it was so wrong and guess what she was she was upset and uh, she wanted me to do the card reading after the blind reading which I had taken 20 minutes to do the blind reading you know pulling stuff out of the air wherever it came from and trying my best but she said it was all wrong so I was like well that's why I use cards because I'm guided by the cards uh, I'm I said I I never said I was psychic. I just said that I was intuitive and I was a card reader. And so she was like, well, I'm a medium myself and um, you don't pick up anything else. I'm like, no, because I don't do blind readings. I just use the cards because I'm too opinionated. Uh, so I'm embarrassed because um, I, I basically I told her she was single. She was still looking for love. Uh, she had a big heart. She was protecting herself. She gives more than she receives, this, 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 and that. And like, that's all I could pick up on her was that she was kind of insecure. She gives more than she gets. That's basically what I gave her. And I, since I didn't mention anything about her kids or her man or whatever, she thought it was all wrong. But I didn't see her kids or her man. I, like, she asked me about her, okay? So <laughs> it turns out, because I went to go look on the group page, and it turns out that she's having issues with her man <laughs> and she wanted that to come out through the reading right and y'all the reason she's having issues with her man is because he looks 10 times better than she does and um yeah we all know what that's about um i keep telling y'all y'all don't get no man that looks better than y'all because y'all will have issues <laughs> anyway um when you're having that type of issue like first of all ladies i keep telling y'all this over and over if you know that you aren't the number if you know that you ain't the best looking thing in the world and you got a man that's a, a nine or a ten And he's with you don't think it's because he, don't think it's because you're his number one choice in what a woman would he like it's not it's something it's something else um, also you know be realistic be realistic okay sometimes guys get with women who aren't very attractive because they're secretly gay and you have to like understand the signs and know the signs. Um, if they have more accessories and scarves than you, chances are they might be. <laughs> uh, you know, if they take longer in the bathroom than you do, chances are they might be. If they look 10 times better than you, you're the decoy, okay? 
Um, let me see. I gotta put on my glasses, y'all, because I gotta look this picture again. Hold on. Oh yeah. Okay, I just had to. I just had to take a second look. He's gay, y'all. <laughs> I'm not laughing because this is not funny. Um. So yeah, that's that's what your problem is, lady. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do the reading that you wanted to receive, but you're having problems with your man because he's bi or gay. <laughs> Um, you see, gay guys are in the closet. Gay guys, they get with a woman that's very unattractive, so that when a gay guy see him with her, he knows that that's the decoy. Okay, he knows. Oh my God. Okay, he. The, that's the decoy. Also, like a, a, a really gay man will get with a super, super, super attractive woman as a decoy as well. So, either you're super ugly, not ugly, but a lot of times they will choose someone who's very overweight and as the decoy, um, or who has really low self-esteem or who's just a one on a scale of one to 10. They will, I'm sorry y'all, my lips are chapped. They will choose someone like that as the decoy so that when they're out and about and they see a guy that they know the code, that's the code, you know? And, you know, if you start having problems with somebody who looks 10 times better than you and stuff like that, and you know that on any other basis, no man like him would really get with you, you need to, ch you need to check because he could be on the down low, okay? Um, I'm not, I'm not making fun of this lady. Uh, I, I'm keeping her identity concealed. I do take uh, things from my real life and I use them. I don't reveal names or whatever, whatever. So, if you, I don't know if she's watching this. I hope not. But if she is, I'm sorry. Um, and it's not about the reading. You know, it's about the the situation. Okay. Um, so, ladies, yeah. If you suspect your man of being gay. Chances are you're probably right. If you suspect your man of cheating and he looks 10 times better than you and you have no business being with him, he's probably gay or using you, either one. So that's why I tell a lot of these ladies, I know it's, it's hard and you know, you might not be the most attractive female in the world, but you need to be like very suspicious of a very, very attractive man you know getting with you because you usually it's a trick and it's a decoy and if, if if you really think about it you should be more suspicious than impressed or uh infatuated i know i would if if boris kojo came out of the blue and and he wanted to marry me or or get with me i'd be like what what's the catch what's the catch you know because i've seen your wife <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I mean you gotta know you gotta know your limitations and a lot of women don't want to hear this but if your man looks better than you and he got more accessories than you more clothes more shoes if if he's a 10 and you're a 1 you ain't the one <laughs> I know uh, oh well we have kids together I don't care he's still it's still not it's not, it's not happening okay you're the decoy okay some guys want to reproduce they want to have kids some gay guys want to have kids you know or some guys just want to be taken care of and uh a woman who's less attractive will take care of an attractive man it's that's just how it is um i know plenty of girls who have done that mm -hmm. oh my god is it? and they pay for it in the future because that guy gets comfortable and then he starts going after his real type be it gay or a different type of woman um so unattractive ladies who are, are obviously like I'm not I'm not saying you're unattractive I'm saying that if the man is a, like a model 
and you're just you know okay you have you got to look into that and any woman can become attractive okay any woman could slap on wig and makeup and a, a, a waist cincher and put on designer clothes and heels and lashes any woman can be beautiful okay that's not the problem the problem is knowing your limitations okay just like it's just obvious you know you know a supermodel is not going to want someone who looks a certain way you just that's just obvious common sense so if you're dating someone that's like that gorgeous of a man and you're like plain 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 super you know just not glamorous at all you're the decoy <laughs> or you're just being used so I'm, I'm just keeping it real I'm sorry I mean a lot of women can probably vouch for this and tell me I'm right you know that's why I don't I never dated no pretty boys I did actually when I was young and I learned my lesson because I, I would never date anybody that looks better than me mm -mm, can't do it <laughs> I did it before and don't work believe me now if y'all both look the same you know y'all both a perfect 10 then y'all probably just y'all probably will be like Boris and his wife you know they're both gorgeous people and they probably don't even see their own beauty anymore and they just see another person but yeah don't like if you post your pic picture up online it's fair game uh, that's why I'm not gonna say no names but y'all y'all have all seen it on Facebook where the lady is like my man this my man that we we having trouble and then she posts a picture and then you're like honey your man gay that's why y'all having trouble <laughs> okay y'all I'm gonna cut it short comment what y'all think below and I'll see y'all later thumbs up